I know there's going to be multiple different ways of designing a retention pond. This is just to get your um, get you going with it and uh, explore the different options that are available to you, both in the theoretical and in the practical sense. Let's go ahead and have a look. I'll be using the Eludust method for showing you how to do retention ponds uh, today. Um, one of the important things with Eludust is if uh, let's go over to the stormwater mode, we'll select this uh, pond. This is my pre-development uh, pond and I'm going to be sizing the pond up to 1 in 20 a flood. Different municipalities have different uh, ret retention requirements. Um, you can see I'm uh, going to just uh, do a development within this watershed and also taking the urban restrictions into account as well. This will be going overland and it will be up to I'm only thinking about 1 in 20 flooding at this stage no overland escape routes no 100 year flood lines just the 20 year for the municipalities that require it to be up to 1 in, tw one in 20 some may be 1 in 50 if we go and look at the stormwater catchment we'll see that the runoff soil type is D this will depend on the geotech report that you get and you'll also notice that my supplementary area is 100% um, because there isn't any paved areas before development. There might be paved areas in your uh, development that you are um, looking at the pre-development flows. So again, you need to look at the requirements and what is on site. If, if you want a closer look at the different soil types, you can go in stormwater mode to edit infiltration rates and here you can have a look at the different types of soil that we've shipped with the software as well as their percolation and um, rate of decay. You can also press F1 to look at the help file and explore these in different and greater depth. But it's also probably beneficial to enter in what the Geotech report um, gives you. But normally it would be one of these. We go to our storm data and I load the storm file up. I'm going to be looking at a return period of 1 in 20 years and a storm duration of 120 minutes. Once again, please consult the local municipality to find out what uh, their storm durations are for the area that you're working in. That'll then create an array and a hydrograph that we need to build the pond for any um, levels that exceed our cubic meters per second pre-development. So I'm going to go and run the analysis now. And uh, I can keep the existing network, that's fine. And we now know that the pre-development flow for this particular site is going to be 0. 49 cubic meters per second just writing it down and we're going to go to look at the post development 